Hello guys, who here, back with another episode of Path of Exile, let's play Path of Exile. We are currently in episode 7, which means of course we are then also in Act 7. Uh, so I already went ahead and gone from uh, where we start, uh, went, uh, there was the, I think it's Waylam, I think, Lam, I think that's how his name is. This guy was the guy that picked us up and now we are in the Act 7. Uh, so if you can see right here, we went through, you know, six. Uh, I also realized that there was only one trial in Act 7. Uh, if you don't know how many there is, you can always Google them on there. It says how many there is and, and so on and so on. Um, but yes, yes, we are now in Act 7 and we are basically just here. Um, because if I had, I stopped last time, I recorded two episodes last time. And now I'm recording a new episode and basically that's how it all went down. And so I had to go here because if I logged out, I had to do it again. And, and then we wouldn't be exactly where we were. So we actually also write the uh, levels. So we actually level 54, which is actually pretty awesome, actually. Um, not that in anybody else, like he's level 50, 58, the guy that's not right next to us there. So, so 54 is, is pretty neat and you could always tell. If you hover over the zone, like if you if you press y, uh, U on there, you can see this zone is level 50, uh, 49 and stuff like that. So if you're above that, you are, you know, you're good to go. Also because we did all the side missions and stuff like that. But you can um, grind it all up when you get to Act 9 and I'll show you guys when we get into Episode 9. So that's a couple episodes from now. But uh, we got some quests. We got, you know, got to talk to Sin. That's Sin up here. Gonna give us a quest. So we're gonna go around, pick up all the quests. Not that it's really super needed. You don't have to do so, but, uh, you know, Sin's completion and nest, I guess. Um, yeah. And now we'll also get her the Explorer Girl, uh, which is pretty awesome. She has, like, the temple that was a league way back. If you didn't know, if you wanted to play with somebody and you don't have anybody to play with, there's a notice board in all of them, which is, see, looking for friends, uh, Act 7, there's some people here, and, like, they also, like, yeah, basically they're uh, running parties all over there. You can also create one, you can see if you have a your guild, if you have uh, a, one like that, or if you have your friends online and stuff like that. I really like the friends list, by the way, because you can also set notes to people's names, um, so you can put people's names and if you know them from like Twitch chat or something like that and you can also put up messages up here if you want to. That's why mine says, um, you know, um, mine says Bahoo TV because, you know, I used to stream on that. But uh, let's go to the Broken Bridge and uh, we're going to head into here. Uh, something I didn't explain is there's actually uh, some good tips also here uh, on the, uh, you know, loading screens so you can... Uh, there's, a, I guess, a little bit of things to read uh, while you go through the loading screens and mine being a little bit longer. Uh, but I did play a little a bit extra beforehand we did today, so I hope that that's going to help out with the, um, you know, with not having as bad as loading screens as uh, we should or had last time. But we'll see. Uh, it, it's really not to tell if it's going to be good or bad. But anyways... Uh, here in this area, you want to look for a side quest. I, I'm pretty sure it's a side quest, but it's pretty easy. You want to find the ruins here and uh, basically just look around this whole map. Uh, I always have a hard time finding these. Uh, not sure why, but I do. <laughs> and um, my point being is that um, it's always... Oh, it's in the corner there. So uh, here we go. <clears throat> and it's just a locket. Uh, I think it's, I'm pretty sure it's a, a side quest, but it also might be some of the main thing, but um, it's pretty easy. It's in this first zone here, and it's not really that hard to, to find. And then basically, again, as we have done a bunch of times, and I guess I'm kind of repeating myself, but it is just, you know, the same. And that it's, you know, follow the road forward. If you find any blue packs, we make sure you kill them uh, if you find any yellows you can decide if you want to kill them or not um, uh, sometimes there is some aoe you know uh, i have some aoe uh, with the um, uh, herald of ash does like if it kills a monster it does like fire damage to the next ones next to it so it, you know if you most of the time these uh, yellow packs has people around it so sometimes it does uh, defeat it 
or uh, just spread the fire and he can do uh, great damage if you have good damage since it's also our first character uh, in this league uh you know it's not gonna be that um amazing to be honest so um before we we buy some currency and stuff like that also uh by the way last episode we um uh, died a little bit i'm not gonna <laughs> yeah <laughs> we died a little bit i did do a little bit with our resistance i did enchant some of my gear uh with some resistances and stuff like that and some elemental damage and health and stuff like that so it did went ahead and enchanted a little bit so you can of course do that in your hideout and uh, you unlock a bunch of recipes and stuff like that and there's plenty guides i could uh show you guys all about you know you know all these crafting things um, but it's not really that uh, complicated when you just, there is a plenty of, um, you know, guides basically around. Um, so you find the waypoint and the next you want to go to, um, I think I remember this. I think it's actually different than what you usually do. I think you go down to the crypts first, actually. So we actually maybe have to go the other way. I see... Mr. Delve guy is over here, so we're gonna go pick that up for sure. Because uh, we want to delve later. Um, so I'm pretty. Oh, there was also a shrine here. Uh, shrines has always like a, a good amount of enemies around it. Uh, so that's the crit one. So now I should have a good amount of damage. Yeah, fourteen thousand. That's pretty good. Um, so I'm pretty sure we have to find the. Um, uh, we have to find a map first. I, I don't know why I always blank on X7 for some reason. I you, don't ask me why, but uh, so I hopefully I can remember what we have to do. I might also maybe I should have just uh, you know been a better YouTuber, I guess, <laughs> and actually uh, checked up on that. Uh, so. Uh, but we do have to go here uh, at some point. I know that up in the uh, up in the top, we do still have the uh, oh, what is it called again? I'm not sure what the name is. It actually is, uh, but there's like a place up there, and uh, the re the thing is that there's a map device we have to go to, and that that's gonna take us to a boss, and we could go there I think because there is a waypoint there. Oh, that those those guys really hurt. Um, oh, he's got ghosted. Oh, oh wow, guys, chill. <laughs> um, so we could go back to the uh, the crossroads and just go here. I'm pretty sure. So I am trying my best to do it as fast as possible because last episode got really long. Don't really want it to be that long. Uh, not that it's a good. It's good that there's you know takes a long time, right? Because if uh, if a game is too fast, you know who's gonna who's gonna play a game that you're done with in like a couple hours, right? Uh, so definitely just go through the road as we <laughs> talked about before, and that's gonna take you again to the crypts, exactly the same as it is in the um, in the first time. And there we go. Go to the crypts. I don't know actually if there is a um, um, what's it called a waypoint here, but I think there is. As there is in the last one, right when we start. Um, but there's two ascendancies in in Act Seven, two ascendants or trials, as it is. Uh, this one is here, and there's also a waypoint. So we do have to. Uh, it's on this floor. Uh, we need to go to um, what's it called uh, level two. As we also did in in Act Two, uh, but this time it's uh, we have to of course do the thing first. I should probably pick up this steel skin because I probably want that later on. Steel say uh, steel skin as it is it kind of explains itself is making you uh, more tanky uh, for a while, and you can set it up so. You can put it on a uh, cast when damage taken thing. So it basically auto uses itself. Oh, what is that? Oh, divine orb. Oh, cool. That is a semi 
a good item. That's at least going to take us uh, to buy our gear uh, for, uh, you know, what's it called? Um, to buy our gear that we're going to have uh, later on. So here we go. Here is the ascendance. Oh, we got to click this lever. And basically go through the trial here, click another lever. Oh, we could uh, click these, these uh, urns or urns. Uh, do you have, uh, they do have uh, loot in them. So sometimes you can be lucky and they have some good loot in, but uh, most of the time it's not really. Grabbing the craftsman recipe. And as you can see, first ascendance here. And now we can find act uh, or not act two, <laughs> but level two of the uh, of the place here. So sometimes, as you can see, they can be way, way off the map. But you can already see down here. Uh, you can already see the next uh, place we're going. So, yeah. Oh, oh, we have to find the soccer fucker. And that's gonna take us to here. Maybe there's not an act. Uh, level two to this maybe this is the place kind of looks like uh, act three right uh with the uh, library but we do have to find uh, like that's a like a circle thing or pillars i'm not sure if there is like a uh like a thing to it but if you if you find the exclamation mark, you know you're in the right place, right? So that makes a lot of sense. And you just click that. That's the map we need. See? Ah, ah, not too uh, too shabby he is now. Maybe he is. Maybe he's smarter than he looks. <laughs> maybe it, would, it was all a ruse uh, to make you guys believe that I that I I failed at dying. <laughs> it wasn't. I really died uh, but softcore you know it doesn't it matter too much all right before we go we gotta turn in uh some quests here uh the silver locket uh turn into this guy we get a flask okay so what do we want as a uh we have this we have also this we resistances are pretty good uh we do have that so we could um we could take the evasion the jade flask should we take that for sure do you have the phasing but we have the phasing when we shoot so i'm gonna take the evasion because that's this does like increase it so they actually work together these um let's put one of these on see if now uh so i'm just gonna destroy this because so when i use this and i use this together so these when i get three extra uh, three thousand extra evasion uh, so you have that so I'm gonna hit whatever percentage and then that's gonna on top of that I can show you guys uh, a little bit, but we do have the maps, but we're gonna wanna first of all uh, Doesn't really matter on softcore if you put in your uh, you know items and whatever it is uh, You don't have to do that in the start uh, But when you are playing a hardcore everything you have on your character is gonna get moved if you die get moved to there So if you found a divine orb like that or an exalted orb or something like that uh, you definitely, definitely want to like go straight back to your uh, place and, and basically do that. So, uh, or put it in your uh, there. So we have, um, let me see, let me use the one here first. Uh, so we have 1400. Now we have 8,000 and that on top of it, we have 12,000. So you see how much that was. That was a lot. That was a lot. So when we put those together. We do have a lot of evasion. But yes, now we want to find uh, the place we uh, basically went to uh, in Act 2 as well. We just use start to... That's why it confuses me because it looks... I, I think that's why it confuses me because uh, it basically has to go the same place, but it's not really the same place. Oh, dude, guys, come on. Uh, I think this is actually better, right? Yes. doesn't look better, but it is. Okay, uh, here we go. There's something to do with... Uh, how much it or how fast it re um, regens your life the double ganger isn't that uh mirror oh yeah that's the mirror one. Oh, we got a skill point as well uh boom, 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 boom. where were we going did we oh oh there's somebody make 
killing me. Ooh, superior. Nice. <laughs> I just got uh, one for 20 and then we got... Uh, oh, the, oh, this is mirror arrow. This is uh, the blink arrow. But we can actually use this instead of the other one. Uh, let's use that. In, should we? Uh, burning arrow. That's not really... Why is it that? Oh, that's a dash thing. Uh, and cooldown recovery. Yeah, that's fine, I think. That's fine. I think that's fine. Because uh, this one, um, if I remove you up from here, um, this one is it can be shot further away from whatever. So if I have my arrow all the way up in the corner here, it will shoot it all the way over there. So can, I can definitely get past whatever I need to come past. Um, so uh, where were we going on the street? I think we're going this way, right? Oh, no, we were going up here. That's right. That's right. We were going for all the life. That's right. That is right. Let's go to the Chamber of Sins. That's what it's called. I think it's this one or the next level. There is an sentence. I think that's the, in the beginning. But it will tell us. No, it wasn't this one. Um, or maybe I uh, maybe I wanna. Oh, there, I I can have two. So let's just have it two. Uh, I don't want to level you up. I think. Let's get out of here. Forgot to. I like the dash though. The dash is pretty cool, uh, to be honest. The dash just seems very, very fast. And this, they all drop poison. That's why I'm taking so much damage. Poison is chaos damage, so you can be immune to chaos damage, uh, but it requires you to uh, take some special notes. And not always a good idea to um, to uh, take things like that. To be even though it sounds pretty good, to be immune to chaos damage. <laughs> But uh, the problem is that it, of course, uh, then as uh, Path of Exile is, is that uh, something is awesome and then they kind of say, yeah, that's true, but I, it also has this downside to it. So it's not like everything is an, a plus, but there's a plenty of things uh, for, uh, for the game that's just like straight up OP uh, for sure. But when you have played a game a while, uh, you'll, you'll understand. All right, so we go into the middle here. Um, also, there is a waypoint. You can see the. If I, oh, I don't. You can't see it from. Oh, you can. Okay, there you can see the book on the. Uh, on the place, and again, there's some some packs there, and we're just gonna rush it in. And this boss is pretty uh, pretty hefty. This is the guy. We're gonna take the waypoint. Make sure you take the waypoint. And there is also a crafting recipe. We're gonna get back to here, so it's not really a matter, but. There's the map device. This is something that's coming later in the game. But then you put in his map and it's going to open uh, and use the portal effect you have. So that's pretty good. And now we have to uh, enter his Santum and we have to kill the guy here, which is uh, also quite hard. Uh, not impossible, but quite hard as well. Does uh, cast damage and, and stuff like that. So. Uh, but before we can continue, this is this is some of the uh, main part. We do have to do this. These has a nasty, nasty, nasty. These guys with the uh, oh yeah, you see the bleed there, uh, the bleed there. Those are really nasty. So uh, yeah, I've died a few times to that because uh, just trying to go fast and getting hit by those are not nice. So you can get uh, flasks that gives you. Um, Belly, uh, or immunity to, or it removes it, sorry, uh, removes the bleed. I think you can also, there's some talent points or ascendancies that gives you immune to bleed and stuff like that. And you can also bleed enemies and stuff like that. Uh, so, but they do, they are melee. So these guys, they, do, they are melee. So you can basically hit them before they get to you. Uh, they are pretty fast, but you know, they, they'll be fine. They'll be fine. And here we go. Uh, so the way you want to go for this, you want to find those. See, that was a bleed. Uh, so I'm going to stand a little bit. Uh, so the one you want to look for is those. Um, see if I can find it again. Also, my resistances are not good still. They're not They're not amazing. So uh, we definitely have to fix that when we... Uh, I was about to say play the game. Uh, but you want to again follow the... Uh, the I was about to say the corners, but you want to find the, um, what are they called? Uh, 
walls. Wow, I just blanked on what the hell it was. And then find these uh, little uh, bridges. Uh, find those and... Um, find those bridges and that's going to take you to to his workshop. So this is where he is basically. So all you have to do is 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 go through the wall, follow the walls and then go over these small wooden bridges. And that's going to take you to him and then he's going to when you get too close to him, he's going to start uh, you know, killing you and all those all the purple is is uh is of course um cast damage. So he's going to summon uh some more uh, helpers, I guess, while he is, a, is there as well, which is, makes it a lot harder. Again, don't stand in the purple, don't stand in the purple. Please don't kill me, but it's okay. Um, and his helper is dead. So and that's the, another helper, and he's gonna be there as well. Uh, many of these bosses that they have, uh, is oh wow he one shot me Ooh. i don't have any chaos resist so wow did it send me all the way to here wow i thought it was gonna okay i was pretty sure it's gonna send me just outside but i guess i was wrong uh well we we have the map so uh oh and a superior we'll, we'll take that i guess that's constellation price for uh being weird um i thought it was gonna be right outside uh but yeah if you <laughs> i don't know what's gonna ha I, I think you might have to you know uh reset your map and stuff if you run out of portals there uh i think you do have to go back to the the, the crypts and do it again find the map once again and then do it like that uh but we were i, I thought we were doing pretty good so i was, was kind of sad that we kind of died there that that just really hurts a lot those can you can you just don't do that why are you gonna tank why are you gonna be there bro what the fudge oh 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 and he's dead there we go and the black venom remember to pick that up uh before you but he's just stands there dude what the <laughs> come on and that's an okay ring uh not and particularly amazing but it does have cold and like oh it has cold and lightning and wow that's that's pretty decent actually double resistances uh i could actually use that maybe but does this have any no this have any this has strength right i'm gonna lose that yeah i'm gonna lose that but like that that helped <laughs> helped on my cold resist at least. This, but this this has a little bit of cold, a little bit of lightning, <clears throat> but doesn't have any health. I can I can so that's actually a pretty good ring. Uh, let's put back that aura again and talk to Sin, just because we can. And but we now we just need to. Oh, I thought he was uh, doing something there. Uh, take the portal back to uh, the chamber, because <clears throat> it's like, kind of like a map. And then we have to talk to this guy. Oh, he gives us the key. Which we need to go uh, this way. Uh, so, oh no, 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 we need to go to the. Oh, never mind. My bad. We just have to go to the level two here. <laughs> That's right. All right, here we go. It's basically protected. I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see the. Per can you see the purple down there? Can you see it? How he, that right now in here? This purple. So if you went here. Uh, the, and you can also see the purple kind of removing itself there. But if you went there without the key, uh, you wouldn't be able to go down there, which is kind of weird because it's like a purple layer and it's a key. But uh, I don't know. But yeah. But here we do have to get the ascendancy, so we gotta check that way. That was a, so definitely not that way. And now we are a little bit stronger against those stupid lightning stuff. And if you if you saw there is a um, I, I guess something I can explain about uh, ex see it says 75 but it says 80 uh, 78 that means that the cap is 78 so so right now or 70 75 so I'm basically capped on 
uh, lightning resistance doesn't mean that I'm immune to it. It doesn't mean I just it means that I take uh, as little lightning resist as, or damage from as I can from lightning attacks. Um, and the the uh, thing behind it, the 78, just means that I have over that. So if I ran into like some monsters that would curse me with some lightning re uh, resist curse where I couldn't resist as much curse, uh, then uh, I would, you know, that I would be, you know, have less. And there is some, uh, some of course, some, <clears throat> what's it called? There is, uh, of course, some thresholds and stuff like that. So, uh, but that's, that's some in-game stuff. Uh, whee, I can open the door. So, you don't have to be wearing that. No, the crafting recipe. You can open that door if you wanted to. Let's clean out the monsters here. There we go. And there we go. Boom. Act seven. There, and we take the portal because we're not done here. Uh, we need to uh, finish whatever. Complete the laboratory. Not, not now. <laughs> we will, but it's because we now we can ascend to the next level. And I'll do that uh, on my own at some point. Uh, so we can get the next two points in our tree, which is uh, probably going to be this one here. So you can remove bleed when you use a flask. So I don't have to roll f bleed removal on my flask if I don't want to. So whatever flask I use, it just does that. That's a good thing with the Pathfinder. Uh, oh, okay. I was going... <laughs> I have to go this way down here. <clears throat> so instead of went up, I just had to win, go more down, I guess. Oh, some blues. Oh, and uh, a unique. I'm not sure if he's, uh, how often he's there, but he's who was there now. And it's not like, uh, like unique monsters has a better chance of dropping better loot and stuff like that. Um, not, not, not particularly, at least. Oh, dude, I... No, I... Go away. Leave me. Um, but it's always, you know, uh, fun to kill something a little bit more challenging. There's a... The, the map thing here down here. It means that there is a hideout you have to go get here. I think I have all of them, or most of them at least, so... I at least have the waypoint that I want, so... When you find a long hall like this, you are on the right way. It's just without monsters. And of course, when you hit, go into here, well, there's monsters here, but when you get to here, that's of course the right place. Uh, it's basically the same place as there was uh, in Act 2. And you don't really have to murder these, but I'm doing it. <clears throat> so last time we had to kill a guy and click a thing there. But this time around, we just have to go down to the, the uh, exclamation mark. And that's the key. And then now we can go to the den, which actually was uh, something that was a side quest before. But now it's, I guess, something mandatory. Can you say it like that? I think it is. You can say it like that. It's a mandatory thing. And here we go. And there's also a waypoint. So we'll take that. And now we just have to find our way through the beautiful... Uh, cave here oh th those bears can hurt a lot by the way those bears that drop from the st I, I think it's they are some kind of uh, uh i was about to say special but uh i think there is some kind of uh, what is it called uh there's some kind of uh, monsters or not monster animal that is in new zealand so that's why they uh, kind of know them Unique, uh, see this is the guy we killed uh, last time. Uh, now he's become undead, <laughs> basically. Oh, Chaos Orb, nice. See now Chaos Orbs just start dropping, very nice. Let's see if I can guess this ghost. I think it's sending me down the wrong way. No, we actually went the right way, cool. This is where we have to go. Uh, we have to go, you know, to the Ashen Fields instead. <clears throat> so basically we're going I guess we're going backwards <laughs> uh, now and suddenly we're in act two again no uh, um, 
there's a bunch of you know there would be a bunch of lore that's going to tell you why uh we go this way or this way or uh, whatnot so we are now in the fields and there's a waypoint i'm not sure if the waypoint is also always next to the place but i'm pretty sure it is um so here you want to follow the road again yeah i know uh i just don't remember for i think it's for some time it's not for forever oh that's just detonating yikes that could be that's scary that is a bit scary uh we follow the road i think we have to uh i know there's a guy we have to defeat here i do remember that guy because he's pretty strong as well not impossible just pretty strong And bears, they just have so much life and armor. That, so does uh, gorillas, for a not the small ones, but the, the big dudes. They have a lot of life. No, it was right here. So it's just, uh, it was just right here. It's a small area, which is kind of annoying. Uh, that was evasion. Nice. We get these points, and then we're gonna get these points, and it's all gonna be great. But yes, we have to kill this guy here, and it has like. These guys first is just like his uh, enemies, and see so he, he throws down like stuff that kind of hurts before, and you have to defeat all these before he kind of comes out. I think this is his like uh, friend wolf thing. Oh, there's two of them. Okay, and they're maiming me. Oh, so that hurt really a lot. Uh, but there he is. Uh, but I can use my flasks, so I can basically uh, blind him. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, I don't want to stand in that. Oh, he's maimed, he's maimed me. Oh, I'm, I am just, oh, I don't want to use that. Oh my God, I'm running out of potions. My mana is gone. Cool. Charges at least. Oh, he's... He is shooting me hard. Oh, baby. Do I have more f flash charges? I do have a little bit. Okay. Can you guys can you guys hit the guy that is actually hitting, killing me, trying to murder me? There we go. Awesome. <coughs> I actually got him without actually dying. That's, that's a pretty good. All right. Let's, <coughs> let's wait for Sin. No, don't have to. Oh, killed all the guys around here. Uh, we can talk to him. Yes. And he's going to give us another of these. He gave me this one. Physics are uh, taken while moving. So that's also bleeding. But I think we want the fire so stealth so far. Um, because that was pretty cool. And then the stunning. There's This is not really good. But I can't pick the other ones before later on. So on towards the northern forest. <clears throat> Actually, the first fight we did. Uh... Uh, in I guess after act something five that we didn't die. <laughs> it's pretty good, so I'm happy. All right, so here um, we want to find uh, we want to find a place where it is like a. It basically it's on the opposite side of. Uh, of uh, the, the waypoint. I think the waypoint is up that way. No, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's fine. I always get scared. Oh, thanks. Elemental hit. That can actually be used as a bow as well. Uh, but we do have to want to find the waypoint here uh, first. Before we do anything else i think i missed it actually um because i just no the waypoint was there i did get the waypoint do you start at the waypoint no i'm pretty sure i don't let me let me just uh, go back here oh i guess we did i guess did we start up here ah, i can't remember doesn't matter we have to go over to the uh the place over there so we gon' do that. And usually we, like I did in Act Two, we uh, we didn't really do the the dead trinket here, but we're gonna do it this time. 
but we need to go back here a few times. We need to pick up an, uh, like an amulet or something like that. I think, or is it, we have to have an amulet and then we have to place the amulet or something. It's, it's a very easy, simple quest and I'm not sure how, what it does give, but yeah. But here, uh, you want to find the, uh, over here, you can see, oh, there is like, oh, there's a, like a lot of, uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, exclamation marks on the map. And all of these are, of course, uh, fireflies, as it says, but it's for a quest. I think it's, it's a side one. Oh, this is, uh, this unique guy. I think he does cast damage as well. Let's just defeat him. <clears throat> Uh, but yeah, uh, you want to run around this whole cave. I don't think there is a, I don't actually know how many, oh, that's not what I wanted to click. I want to click that. The oh, there is, uh, the girl, uh, but you know, so here he, he, she is the master of explorer, as you can say, but she's, uh, she does have this temple. So let's see this temple. How good is this temple? So we have, oh, this goes away. We have a hatchery and then you can see if you want to upgrade the hatchery. So the hatchery does what? Uh, you can also change it to contain strong boxes, which is pretty good. You have poison gun. We don't have like a treasury. Sometimes we have a treasury, but you can change it around. So we want to go down and kill this guy in the bottom to um, have this room contain strong boxes instead of, because then uh, you have an, a, you know, a certain amount of, oh, sorry, uh, view temple. So 12, you can see 12 times I can change the temple and there's some time to, to feed it. And uh, basically um, you get more time when you kill more things. And that's the architect, that's the guy. He's, he can be really, really strong. So I really should uh, be careful. And there is a, oh, look at that. Oh, that poison. Ooh, the poison. Yeah. And he's dead, all right, cool. So now we have to use this, it's very important because that's the, the chamber. Uh, let's see, and nothing drops here. Uh, it's made so you don't, nothing drops. Uh, so you don't, you can only focus on killing things. And then the other architect is gone. So you can't kill him. So he's now, you know, gone. And see, did we get all of them? Uh, there we go, and then we are out. And they say the loot drops afterwards and there was a ring, so we like that. So now it's gonna turn into, you know, the strong box chamber and you can upgrade that uh, but you do have to make like a way to it if you know what I mean some that doesn't need to have that but most of them do it's always a good idea to use those uh, portal thingies and just try to remember where you have to place it so you connect to the other rooms this one I have is pretty uh, well you know uh, made or pretty connected usually it's or not usually, but sometimes it's not very connected, which makes it a lot harder. And I, like I said, I'm not sure how many fire, fire, fireflies you have to pick up, uh, but she is, she's here again, for example, she's here. So now we can do this one. Uh, we need to continue here. Den of Despair, we have to kill that guy. Um, <clears throat> but the game will tell you, and I hopefully we can get all these fireflies. Let me... There's another one, another one. There's plenty of stuff to do here at least. <laughs> uh, and then the firefly, and there you go. Deliver the fireflies to you. And when it says that, that means that you are done. So let's put up these so we don't get uh, there. So here, uh, this is a cluster, clustery. I'm not sure what this is, but doesn't really know what it does, but we can change it out to be chest full of jewelry, not bad. Torment is spirit. So we want the, the lower one. We want jewelry. So we're going to go, uh, we're going to go down. We don't need to open any more, uh, things, but because we have a pathway pathway right here, uh, you can also see if I hover over this, it has to the workshop. Uh, so we want to go down and kill that guy, uh, first, if we can, hopefully, of course, because, uh, you can see there's a lot of monsters. It can be really 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 uh difficult there was another passageway oh that's a and we're gonna have to kill a little bit you know uh monsters around make sure we don't die oh because if we die we're gonna get thrown out i don't want to get thrown out i want to kill and he's dead cool all right 
Uh, let's clear some more. If we get thrown out now, it doesn't matter. Uh, so we just want to... But there is always a, really a lot of like uh, like blue and stuff like blue monsters and stuff like that in this one. Not sure why, but there is just this. Uh, I don't know if it, they made it so it's just lucrative to do so. But yeah. And the bar that's filling up down there is of course uh, um, how many monsters there are left so you can kind of explore. And did we get the uh, passage thing? Or did we open it? I'm not sure. Oh, it, we didn't. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's take that and then that. And let's just talk about that. So now it is the jewelry. Now we only have 10 left. Actually, I want to take this like that and that one as well. Ah, sure. Let's take the belt as well. Sure. Uh, there's an uh, abyssal right here. Let's do that one as well. That's why I meant there was so much stuff to do in this one. All right, here we go. But the abyssal... <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> the abyss is fine because it doesn't, uh, you know, don't die. Oh, yeah, but if you, unless you stand in again, because I'm, an, I'm a dummy. And again, I don't really want to pick up anything, to be honest, because it's just too risque. You just want to focus on killing things, and I actually don't want to do that either, what I was just doing there. Uh, leveling up gems, but we got the trove, even though we died a little bit, which is not was not really nice. But we did get a fusing out of it, so that was that was at least something. Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't want your shield. Um... I did miss this guy. He's done there, but we also have to do the last of hers, so which is here, and then we have to do the den. <laughs> okay, so what can we do here? We can. It's the tomb, and here is all of them locked. We can change this into reduce maximum players and also add traps through it. Hmm. I think we're gonna do the traps one. You don't have to defeat any of them here uh, if you don't want to. You can just enter and just don't kill the, any one of these and just, you know, open it up if you want to do that. We don't have to do that, but we do have to enter it because if you don't enter it, uh, it's just going to stay the same. Uh, you can leave again, I think, if you want to, but I'm just going to take the... Because uh, there is some loot, and but we don't want to kill the, uh, the guy. But we shouldn't be... We don't have enough damage to one-shot him, so we can take the passageway. It's a really good idea to use in still because... Um, you might you never know what this t room is going to turn into so it's a really good idea to just pick it up uh, very difficult so again don't want to kill him we and i don't think we are going to if we do it's it's a little bit sad but it's fine could be the worse so it's a lot of good experience and then you can do the temple afterwards uh you can see the guy is there. Uh, we should be uh, be done though. Let's see if I can get this guy. Oh, there's some guys down here. Oh, and there we go. And then it basically uh, just opened up, and you can see the nine remains. So that was it was not uh, unfortunate, but it was a little. It's basically RNG. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's really bad, and yeah, most of the time it's really good, but it can be quite. There. But now we have to defeat this guy. This guy hurts like a truck. He hurts like a truck. I don't want him to hit me at all. Uh, he does like a lot of damage, and so I might die. A uh, lot of chaos damage again. So stop killing, trying to kill me and kill me. No, okay, don't. Like, that was a joke, dude. That was a joke. Oh, he's taking a lot of damage actually already. These, are, these artillery things are really doing damage. They are really uh, doing doing work. And I'm also just, you can, I think that's actually uh, reducing my, oh, I don't want to stand in that. Oh, that is, oh, am I really that slow? Oh my God, I want to get out of here. Oh, that was a hit. Ooh, there we go. Whoops. Right, cool. 
Sin comes down. I think he also gives us a soul. I'm not sure. But just make sure that you kind of check it out. And there we go. Boop. Oh, yeah, we did. he did. Okay, so he gave us this one. Additional physical damage for each hit. So we could go away from the fire, but I'm pretty sure our fire resistance is totally bad still, yeah. So, uh, but now we can go, we want to go back to the encampment. Uh, we still want to pick up and go, but we're, not that we're done with the act, but we are getting, I would say we're over halfway now. Um, it has a good flow to it, for sure, so. Let's just get through the loading screen. So the loading screen hasn't been too bad, but it's always bad when you have to go to the town because you're loading basically people. And sometimes you get into an, uh, a free one where like it's only you, but then people load into yours. Like it's it's creating these kind of instances uh, every time. And now I'm kind of loading into somebody else's probably or creating a new or whatever. So they, I think they that's what they do, like dividing people into more, uh, not more servers because, but um, but more uh room and of course again if you're on ssd it, it just runs the whole game uh, faster and there we go so basically all the people that is around here you have to load and load all their empty axes and stuff like that One so that's why it just lags the freaking hell out of this all done. people's people's uh things so we got pretty good boots. Um, I would I would actually like to take. Um, I kind of want the same setup as I have up here. I think up here though, kind of the same. So I want to take these boots here. Till next. And she wants to give us some more. That was the um, that's the one we have to place in the place. <laughs> uh, the serious chest. Dodge attacks is pretty nice, but the coal is, is we have a lot of coal resist on this one actually, but that's the only thing. So we want some more of everything else. Oh, the boots were, were terrible. Uh, these this ring is not too terrible though actually, but we can't because we do have uh, that. The belt is not is not good enough, and that's what not good enough. So Hello. unfortunately, nothing was really uh, good enough. But I do want um, a rare chest like this. Uh, should we just put this one in here? Yeah, sure. Um, Farewell. I do want a rare chest, a, a yellow one, because uh, that means that uh, I can, you know, enchant something on it or something, uh, anything like that. So all of these was uh, those. All right, let's talk to her. Goodbye. We got to talk to this guy because he's going to give us... Some stuff actually two two uh points that's actually nice boom boop two points very nice we could you really use that that's the evasion and physical damage and stuff like that it's gonna be help us out a lot uh always check the guys down here because i always forget to check these guys down here and they always kind of just elude me uh don't have to talk. these this is the girl now you can still see this is our chamber we can't enter before all these are done and uh but yeah, we don't want to do too much. Uh, oh yeah, we have to take the fireflies somewhere else, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, you can always check here. Uh, oh yeah, the entrance, yes. Deliver them to the entrance. Oh yeah, so actually you next need this. This is a side quest and this is a side quest. So this is where we need to go now. We need to go to the Northern Forest as we were before. It might have reset now uh, because we were in there a pretty long time. Yeah, we were. So, and also we can level soon, which is nice. Another Chaos Orb. Oh wow, we are, we are swimming in currency right now. This guy is don't really like me, does he? But essences are good. Essences can sell for a good, um, you know, good money as well. And we leveled, and we got a shrine even. So, just get away with you guys. This point. Oh, and we're going in here. Getting some more points there. And here you just want to go up, uh, as we uh, did the last time when we were here, actually. 
these can be quite scary, these essences, if they have three uh, mods on it. This one only had one, but it can have up to three. So it can be really hard. But yeah, you can see we need to go over here. Um, and basically, we just have to click this. And I always defeat these guys, but you don't have to. They Because there's a blue pack and a, and a yellow, but this guy always spawns when you do this quest. You don't have to, but I just kind of do. And up here is the the trinket thingy where we went. And again, we just just keep north, uh, going along the. Uh, I was about the about to say the road again. <laughs> no, not not this time. Not roads anymore. Uh, but the sea or the ocean. I don't know if it's lake. It could also be a lake, I guess. Is that this? This says the northern forest. We just keep going. Uh, you can't miss it. Uh, unless you don't go north, of course. But yeah, it's the last time we went into this cave here. Uh, it's just closed off now. But now you would go into the the caution way. Was that what's that called? What it called? Hmm. I'm not sure. Um, and here is there like there's a waypoint and there's a quest and and so on. But it is pretty simple as well. Uh, just want to go like straight opposite of what you are right now and it should take you through all these like It's kind of hard not to go the right way uh, But if you hit a dead end uh, guess what it's not the, it's not the right way You just choose one of them and see if it's this way. This seems a little bit going backwards He's still with some blues. Yeah, this is a dead end Let's uh, continue back. But of course, if you see something on the uh, on the map, on the mini map, or something like that, then of course you go for that. It's a little confusing. I wouldn't say confusing, but it doesn't. Of course, if you are playing the game after uh, this playthrough, it might might not see those. Uh, I was about to say souls, but these um, parts, I guess. And of course, I also if, if I see uh, something interesting like a. Uh, What's it called? A uh, box like that. I also always take it. And here we go. Here was the waypoint. Here's a crafting recipe. Take that. And there's the waypoint. Great. Uh, so you want to find that. And um, we want to find the, uh, like I said, the, the I think the quest item is right next to where you have to continue, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I actually don't have to run over this actually now that I remember it because I did pick up or I didn't pick up but I can use my uh, blink arrow to go over there for example but yes there is the uh, quest item always pick up the quest items no matter what oh of course I shoot that my <laughs> mana is gone. and I can also shoot over that I'm just taking so much damage oh yes we're gonna take the star, very important, before you get into the Val City. The Val City? But we're almost <clears throat> at the boss, so we're gonna... It's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode. Um, I also didn't mess up too much this one. This one, I have always didn't have never liked this place because... Uh, not because it, it's hard or anything like that, but it's just very confusing to figure out. Um, I'm pretty sure you have to like find the middle here and then you have to go around or something like that because it's kind of like in the middle but it's not really in the middle and it's just it's very confusing these bone chests is not really there's not a lot of a, normally a very good loot in it but it can be as many as other ones but the, the tip I can give you is that it's go on the furthest as you can uh, there and of course look for a waypoint on oh, the way oh, well well point waypoint and also a question mark or exclamation mark uh, so we kind of went as far we could kind of here because it's kind of wraps around and stuff like that it's really weird it's super weird see there is a book as well so it might actually be this way yes see there was a book uh, Anything we can find <laughs> that indicates where we have to go is always a, a good time. Chromatic orb, take that. And then, of course, take the waypoint and then you talk to her. 
and then uh, you need the, uh, the I think you need the, the star to get in here uh, or the firefly. At least you lost them. <laughs> but we need to get into the Temple of Decay. That is the, um, this is where the last boss is of the act. Uh, it's not the last zone, but uh, it's the, uh, yeah. Uh, here is a really good idea to have a movement uh, thingy. Uh, no, this wasn't, uh, okay, this wasn't uh, really any problem with that one but sometimes it's broken the bridges and stuff like that and you can kind of skip it a little bit if you do so uh, but you just want to go through it <clears throat> if you find this you are definitely on the right way Got some lore stuff <clears throat> just indicate I don't know if it, it indicates that you're going the right way all these bone chests nothing really ever good but it's a chest so you can if you want to uh, keep running around killing defeating those but I wouldn't <clears throat> or open him sorry <clears throat> And you want to look again for the next the stairs. I'm pretty sure it is a uh, level two as well. But going to the stairs, very important. <clears throat> Plus side is that there is no um, there's no uh, loading screens. So And I, I'm basically not really doing anything besides killing things and uh, just looking for, you know, if you go to dead end, go somewhere else. Yeah. Ooh, there was a six socket. If I turn that in, I get some jewelers, which is to make more sockets on things. Ooh, there's a, uh, there is a, uh, I was about to say mini boss, but I guess you can call him that or unique boss. Oh, oh you can, can you, oh, there we go. Right, continue. I'm not sure if he's an indication on you're doing the right, or you're going the right di direction. But as you can see, you know, he can drop some good stuff like any other monster can. But he doesn't have a special, like, hey, this has to go here. Oh, there we go, there's the, the way forward. See, that's the level two. I'm pretty sure the other, it, the other one also has a, ton of uh oh, this has a four maybe i want to craft a little bit on that one could do a little bit of crafting actually but the stairs i think the next level has more stairs but you just have to again find the stairs um a good way is always to go again completely opposite of what uh you know what you started at so and just don't like like i'm using a lot of spells uh like i'm doing mimic archer as a uh, it's called which means that uh it basically mem uh, memorizes or do uh what's it called uh, the spell that i used or i've used on monsters it's going to use as well uh so it basically shoots again and then also the i put down sometimes the uh these and they kind of just defeat things and so i don't have to it's also about being efficient so here we go oh that was not far enough so we need to go further stairs and i see a blue pack in here so i'm more of these And here we go. Here's the stairs. And just kind of do it like that because before we go down, I want to use my point here. Oh, we have poison on hit. Nice. And then we get damage over time. Oh, that's really nice. How much is that? How much is... Uh, uh, isn't there a chance to poison with this? No. It's just the duration. Oh, duration is not too bad, terrible. Uh, well, I like that. But uh, there's 10, 10 and no, nope, 20%. Okay, so 20% is not terrible, terrible, because we also, these also has some like some damage over time things and, and all sorts of awesome, awesomeness. <clears throat> so if we can get some poison on hit, that means that we're getting some uh, damage from like, uh, from, you know, 
So I wouldn't say free damage. That was what I was thinking about saying, but it's kind of not free damage. But poison is always a, a good thing, especially when you see that this is where you probably can use this one. Boop. Uh, crafting recipe. Do, do, do. I think you can also find where all the crafting recipes are on the wiki. I think. Uh, but so only the uh, blink arrow can do that. Uh, not, well, there can also be other spells, other movement, but not the dash thing that I was using before. So um, just keep that in mind. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, we do get a little bit of damage uh, for free, I guess. Here is some more stairs. Ooh, we're getting we're getting deep. I don't know if you can already tell what we're gonna fight, uh, what the boss is. I don't want to spoil it yet, but it's something I fear absolutely the most. So if you know what that is, yes, the uh, yeah. So. Yeah, it also says it there now. <laughs> but yes, uh, we do need to fight a uh, a boss. Uh, let's. I'm kind of very curious to actually. Um... To actually just use that four link chest just because then I could do my artillery thingies, do some more damage. That would be a great but it's not really that good i'm a little bit afraid or maybe i could just use um uh oh is this what does this up here have oh it has to hold a life and stuff like that oh yeah that's it's much better oh the socket why did i uh, take that one okay let's see what we need here uh dexterity and intellect so we do need to get the dexterity and intellect. That was that one. Um, see if that's any good. Uh, elemental damage, armor, and attributes. What does this have? Life? Oh, it does have the elemental thingy, but is that enough? 19? Yeah, for sure. But that's all resist and some armor, you know? All that's, that's actually pretty good, even though this has the elemental damage. So we are going to... I'm pretty sure it 5.8... Oh, 5.9. I actually have more damage with this. Oh, because of the physical damage, probably. All right, let's throw you in there, throw you in there, there, and there. And uh, we could craft this uh, chest here. Uh, but I only have nine of these alchemies. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, I, have, I, can, I, I can do it. Let's do it one more time. Cold resist and evasion. Oh, cold resist, wasn't that? Oh, we were not missing cold. Uh, it does give us a dexterity and attack speed, but... Mana recovery for flask now. Okay. I'm not, I was not happy with that one. Oh, this has to state of life. But then we're going to suffer on the cold resist. Do get the life. All right. Oh, there we go. Fire and lightning. There is some... Uh, not, not too much there, but we are going to get a... Uh, a better link where was our uh artillery ballista and we were leveling some some uh d's here but uh clustic arrow uh more chaos damage i think there is uh I, I wish i was wondering if i could do this as a as another one okay so Dash and Hatred. Okay, so we're going to have Hatred and we're going to have Dash in here. And uh, we're going to keep this chest just because we can. Let's throw all these things away. We're also kind of a little bit rich uh, compared to normally. Not, not really normally, but uh, we got to take this to this. All right, let's go. Let's get our skill point. And there we go. And next, we're gonna get that extra poison. Um, the problem is that we might. Uh, oh, we're gonna have to be fast. Okay, we're gonna be super fast. All right, let's be super fast, hopefully, so we won't lose our portal down there. Um, this is not part. I guess we may we make the episode a little bit longer. Uh, but I do want to real quick, hopefully quick, semi quick. 
please be quick. Oh, loading screen, right? Fuck. <laughs> we are at the mercy of the uh, loading screens. Come on. Come on. Yes, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Up, up, up we go. All right, uh, I think it's here. Okay, so we could, they could do some more poison, so it would be poisoned. Uh, I think we actually want to take poison actually. And we want to do something else because uh, we are running memory rods, we're using Pierce. Um, uh, let's see, what is a really good one? Uh, we could do chain. Do chain instead. Nah, I think I'm gonna say that actually. Uh, let's do poison. And we do have the other one, so let's let's use these two. And then we can uh, use one of these. I think I want to use. Uh, d -d 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 which one is highest that is the reduce elemental damage oh we do the, do elemental damage uh, I kind of like this this one instead yeah okay let's use that one all right that's pretty good uh, then we can have the poison even though we already have the poison I guess all right hopefully no portal will be gone uh, but this will then apply a poison and then we can do more poison and we have a lot of damage over time notes and stuff like that. So should be fine. Um, we could also craft a chest. I'll probably craft a chest when we uh, get there, but here we go. This does a little bit more damage now. So here we go. And then the spider guy always is on the top there and he also hurts a lot. Also, oh, see that, see that uh, there? That's a little bit of stupid wolf that, oh, don't stand in that. Okay, where did you go? Where did you go? Over here, okay. Be poisoned, please. All right, is he, is he coming up here again? Oh, nope, he wasn't, he was up here. And you can't kill that dog, by the way. Get poisoned. And then she takes that. Stupid fire dog, go away. There we go. I wish I could do more of these. Yikes. Oh, oh she's getting like super poisoned here. Oh, that is not, that is not good. Not good, good, not good, not good. Okay, where are you gonna go, buddy? Where are you gonna go? Over here? Okay. Yeah, get him poisoned. Ooh. Get poisoned. You can see when he's like, or she is, uh, I don't know if it's actually a girl or boy, but I would, I would, I would think it would be a, a be a guy uh, or girl, sorry. Okay, oh, on the other side, uh, when she's like glowing green or has like a green glow to it, uh, it uh, means that. Uh, are you gonna stop following me, stupid doggy? Um, is it my doggy? Pretty sure it burns you, but okay. Um, but when green's uh, the green glow, yes, means that it has, um, um, you know, the. What's it called? Um, Oh, we got a new one. Do stun damage over time. Uh, if you stun your... Oh, okay, so stun is pretty good to actually damage over time. We, we really don't, that's not a lot. But yeah, that is act, uh, I think. Yes, this is act seven. So, and we get there, we actually get to act, uh, act, nine, act eight, it's called. Stand on this one, look, it looks cool. Uh, but yeah, that was act seven. Um, we should actually open the portal. We could actually open the portal so you have something to get out. But uh, yeah, so when the green the green glow means that it's poison. That's what I meant. By far, well, when I do. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, this episode number seven. I'm happy that it didn't take longer than it is. We did spend a little time uh, doing our seats ballistas, but 
uh, yeah. So when you see the next episode, we're going to be in Act 8 because I'm going to go through here again. Uh, so we're going to catch up there. I think there's a waypoint right when we start. So I can get into Act 8, which is going to be the next episode. Again, if you like this episode, make sure you like, subscribe. And uh, yeah, tell me what you think about the series. Of course, put that in the comments. Anyways, thank you again so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.